So I wanna make a little video about mounting bars, mainly mounting the controls and also getting your grip set up. Just to let you know what I have, I have the Pro Taper Universal Conversion Bar Mounts, which give you a three quarter inch rise. And I'm using the Pro Taper CR Mid Bend Bars. So your stock handlebars come with a hole in them. They have that hole for the pin in your control so your controls don't spin. I was always a proponent of actually drilling the hole in your new set of bars until I pulled off my bent pro tapers that a previous owner had put on and he just wrapped them in duct tape. By wrapping them in duct tape, my controls were actually able to spin when I was in the crash and I believe it was the reason why I didn't have any damage to my controls other than some scratches on it. But while riding, I never noticed a spin. I actually thought that he had drilled the holes and put the pin in. So I'm gonna show you how to wrap your bars with or without the pen, your controls won't spin and it'll make it easier for you to set up your controls on your bars. So the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is get your grips on the bars. But if you have hand guards, you're gonna to need to cut off the end. You could easily do it with a regular razor blade, but way easier than that, it does cost 25 bucks, is a grip end cutter. As you can see, it makes perfect little round circles and it doesn't mar up the edges of your grip and it looks perfect once it's mounted. To get this in, you throw a little rubbing alcohol on it, you slide that piece right in there and hit it down with a hammer and it'll pop the end of the grip right off and then it ends up on there looking absolutely perfect. If you're a perfectionist like me, that's the reason why I spent the extra 25 bucks to do it. So the next step is loosely slide your control over the bar. Then your grip with the rubbing alcohol, and you could even put your hand guard on so you know it's in the perfect spot. Then put a little piece of blue tape exactly where you want your controls. After you put the blue tape on, you slide the control over and you'll know where to put the electrical tape. So now you know where to put the electrical tape, wrap the rest of your bar in about two to three wraps of electrical tape. That'll give that pen a spot to push into where it's not gonna spin on your bars. And even if you've cut off your pen before, you don't have to worry about it. Just put about four wraps on there and it'll still clamp down tight enough that your controls aren't gonna be able to move. The nice thing about this, if you're like me, I stand all the time. So I want my controls at a different angle than what they are at stock. And I want my turn signal angled up higher to match where my hand is on the bars. Now, as you can see, the control is mounted on there securely. You can see that there's absolutely no gaps in it and it's on tight. It does not move at all. Now you just put your clutch perch back on that side and you're good to go. For your throttle side, it's the exact same process, but you wanna put your throttle tube and the controls on and put your hand guard on. So you wanna make sure it doesn't rub. Once you do that, you could put your piece of masking tape right where your front or where my front brake caliper is. And as soon as that's on, slide your throttle tube back off the handlebar, put the electrical tape underneath where the control is and tighten it all down and you'll be perfect, good to go. And just so you know, on both of my controls, I still have the pins and they came out totally flush with the pen. So there's no need to cut the pins and there's absolutely no need to drill the hole. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel and like the video. Thank you very much.